Weather whiz kids are one of my favorite things that we do here on Fox 9. That's right, some great questions. Smart and kids. Scott has the latest. Yes, what are they asking about? Excellent questions, and we, I was talking to sixth graders uh, yesterday at Riverside Elementary School, and so these guys are pretty smart. They uh, uh, had some great questions to ask me while I was there, and we've got some great questions as well. So here's, here's tonight's question having to do with uh, what we've been dealing with lately. Hi, I'm Grace Johnson. I'm in sixth grade, and my question is, what creates an inversion? Uh, my name is Dylan Schaffer Murphy. Um, I'm in sixth grade, and my question is, how does pollution affect the weather? All right, Grace and Dylan, I put those two together because they kind of work together. We tend to get more pollution when we have inversion. So let's start with an explanation on inversions. I talked about it before. We'll try to get a few more details here. Here's our weather pattern, the current weather pattern. This big H here is high pressure. That's sinking air. It's a bubble of warm air that you can see filling this entire region. It's really warmest right here offshore right now. But we've had cold air that had come in and it gets trapped in the valleys here. And again, in the wintertime, you don't have much sunshine to come in to warm the ground and cause the air to get stirred up and so the air gets very very calm and so when warm air comes in it's lighter than cold air it tends to want to ride over the top of the cold air so that creates the inversion and an inversion that she talked grace talked about is it's a temperature inversion that we're talking about we invert what is normal the temperature as you go from the ground to the upper atmosphere is supposed to decrease between three and five degrees every thousand feet if you out there in the free air without mountains around the mountains can warm things up a little bit so with an inversion instead of the temperature decrease and inversion means the temperature increases with altitude. So we go from 30 degrees at the surface to maybe 40 degrees at 5,000 feet. When this happens, now I'm going to talk a little bit about pollution here. You've got smoke coming out of a smokestack, let's say, and it comes out and it's warmer than the air around it, and it continues to rise because it's warmer than the air around it and less dense. And then it goes, it's cooling as it goes through and mixes with the air, and finally hits this layer of warm air. Now our smoke might be 35 degrees and it was rising here, if it hits the 40 degree air, it stops. And so now this is a cap. And so the smoke will then mix into this region and it stays here instead of spreading on out. Here's the latest profile of what's happening in Boise right now at 5 o'clock this evening. The weather balloon went up to track what the temperatures are. This is a chart that I look at. I'm going to detail it for you. Here's the ground, and this white line is the temperature track line. So at the surface, it was 19 degrees this afternoon. At, f at about 4,000 feet, it was 21 degrees. So a bit of a temperature inversion. We're going up a couple of degrees. You go up to 10,000 feet. And it's 33 degrees, and it wasn't that warm this morning. So here's the warm air coming in aloft here from that high pressure offshore. And this warm air is likely to expand and build. And this warm air will come down. It'll get warmer. And it'll come down to the tops of the ski areas as well. And so if you look right in here, I want to show you this line right here. This is only from uh, basically the ground at 2,800 feet to 3,900 feet, a 2,000-foot layer where the smoke and smog can't mix out of. And so instead of typically the temperature pattern goes like this and everything mixes out, it gets stuck right in here. So that's why we have the pollution. How can the pollution affect the weather? Well, we certainly know that pollution can affect our health, but the pollution can affect the weather by smog, reduced visibilities, uh, the low clouds and smog. We may see that again tomorrow, reducing the visibilities, the haze in the air. Uh, we can also reduce the temperature when you bring in smoke, you bring in volcanic ash, that's pollution as well, and that can cut down the sunlight to actually drop the temperature. So there's all kinds of effects that we can have for the pollution in the air. So there you go, you guys have it. We've got warm temperatures over the cold temperatures, trapping it all in. Great timing for the question today because it looked like the uh, the hills outside of Los Angeles. Yeah, it, yeah. it really it does. Really you know what? If you go to the top there. of the ski areas, like go to Bogus Basin and look over the valley when the sky's clear towards the weekend, you'll, you'll just see kind of that crud, mm. that smog yeah. in the atmosphere. But Thanks, cool Scott. Thanks, Scott. Well, coming up next in Check It Out, it can be 